This is the example we left out in the previous video. If we drop a piece of balsa wood and a metal pin of the same mass into the water, what will happen? Will both of them float or will both of them sink? Or one stays afloat and one sinks? Just by intuition, we can say that the wooden block will float and the metal pin will sink. But if they are of the same mass, why does that happen? Shouldn't both float because of the buoyant force? This happens because of the difference in their densities. But what's density? Look at these two parking lots of the same size. One has three cars and the other has many cars. Which one is more dense? This one, correct? Yes. Now look at these two forests. Which one is more dense with trees? Clearly, it's this one. So in the same given amount of space, if there are more things, we say that it's denser. Density is simply the measure of how compact the mass in a substance or object is. If we have to go by its scientific definition, we would say that it's mass per unit volume. In short, it tells us how much mass exists in a given volume. The unit of density is kilogram per meter cubed. Mass is in kilograms and volume in meter cubed. Coming back to our example, why did the wood float and the pin sink? The wood floated on water because the density of the wood is lesser than the density of water. Hence, the upthrust of water on the wood is greater than the weight of the wood. Hence, it floated. But the density of a metal pin is more than the density of water. Though it looks tiny, there's more mass per unit volume within it as compared to water. Hence, the upthrust of water on the pin is less than the weight of the pin. So, what can we conclude? If the density of an object is lesser than the density of the liquid, then it will float. And if the density of an object is more than the density of the liquid, then it will sink. We'll understand the Archimedes principle in the next video.